Shout out to Seven from Inner Standing. Seven Bomar. Um, was watching his last upload, and he was putting in. He was talking a lot of points and some things that I've I've spoken to in different aspects. But I like how how he connected the Lego blocks, the spaces. Um, <clears throat> particularly when dealing with understanding the true purpose of what negative energy and positive energy has to offer and knowing that it's not just about, Hey, I'm being good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just, just, you know, you trying to whatever. So the ebb and flow in life is the actuality. So the actuality of you believing that you are solidified in being healed from whatever trauma that knocks pieces off of you, chunks off of you, the reality shows you with the ebb and flow of life, how it brings you back down. And it's a physical moreover than just a mental thing. It, it starts to take physical damage to your your being and for the most part uh ultimately no matter what the circumstance is you're gonna become light whether you want to or not even if you are heavy within damage this is called death right so it's like your body will start getting light because your spirit wants to get out you know what i'm saying from all of the heavy shit so then this is when you get old and your skin gets light and your mind gets childlike and then you're you can't do anything and then you get you die and you you know what I'm saying you gotta run this shit back. You know what I'm saying? Because you couldn't man up the the energy to 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 solidify being just happy within yourself through all the adversities within life. And there's nobody teaching this. There's nobody saying, hey look, no matter what takes place you maintain your happiness through everything. No matter what happens, these, these things are coming from people. And it has to be explained in a way to where you can be liberated within your personal characteristics and strong. So when I say it like this, I'm saying the teachings from the past didn't liberate one to be strong or feel that when they went out it was going to be all right because subsequently situations would take place for anybody, right? You would go out and things would happen and this would temper this value, you know, amongst the time delegated by the agenda, right? So where you are, that time scale, how you feel inadequately to the circumstance would delegate on what fear was um, uh, implicated into your new characteristic as you grow. And this is important because this speaks to needing more security within the choices or the understanding of teachings when you're trying to grow within, um, like say if we're taking this not from where we are now, you know, adults, children, and they need this foundation from start. So therefore their future outlook is completely different on how we benefit things. This is giving them the ultimate stability and the foundation to be light without reciprocation. You see what I'm saying? Saying, well, you know, they're gonna walk into light consciously without the fear of a reverberation saying they may they, they don't have nothing to go back to because they're practicing on just living in that aspect. So if you don't never get a chance to experience and it's 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 very indicative because each life or time span from our parents to the children and so forth and on, you can you can easily see that the things that one time had to experience one time does not. And being in control on what that experience is as far as the output, especially when you have the understanding for um what the real purpose may be would be very, very, um, very important. I said important, it <laughs> very important. 
detrimental to the detrimental to the whole circumstances, allowing it just to be for the most part. I can't allow a baby tree just to be. I have to wrap it up in the wintertime. It's going to freeze to death or bring it inside. So it's the same thing. How much care are you willing to do for the things that you plant and grow? So even with trees, they they don't have a house to go in, but they'll shed their leaves and the ground will become warm and the seeds will fall first in the springtime and in the fall, the, the leaves will fall at the base of that tree and those leaves, those seeds will be covered by those leaves, preparing them for the winter. And then when the springtime comes back around, they will be um, under the ground and the, um, the mulching process will take place under that tree naturally, which will give those seeds an incubation to where when the spring comes around, they can start growing. This is natural. This is why we live in an unnatural state. We're forgetting the facts of natural things to produce the seeds that we produce, to have them grow at their fullest potential. This is important. You have to understand that being light is also a retrospect of being lighter. So you're going to be in the in the what you want to say in the feel of being able to be crushed you were cardboard now you're tissue paper you know what i'm saying so forth and on so with that understanding it would be it would be it would be most most detriment to not to focus on the meditation process that will strengthen your auric field that naturally keeps these things away from you. So the contrast of value, it exists within understanding becoming light. Look, I ain't going to hold y'all. We already going in the seven. I don't know how much be- um, memory I'm going to have. Man, my phone be acting stupid. Um, you know, my description is always, uh, uh, I said my description, my information is always down in the description. Um, if you like what I what I do, you want to show some love. My information is down there as well. You want to contact me. The information is there. Um, I also do consultations. I just haven't set up the, um, the situation for it yet, but you can still contact me for a consultation through email. Um, and yeah, I have more videos and meditations and music and so forth and on coming at you. So you already know the vibes, man. It's not good.